Okay, so you've got your project, and now you want to start adding some stuff to the project. So if we go to our, our default screen, we'll get some suggestions uh, for an empty project, like add stuff there. So you can really easily just click on that and start going from there. So if we click on add stuff on both of those, we end up with kind of a suggestion of what we should do next. For the phone, you can see that the, the phone knows that you're not on site in the case of this project. And so it's suggesting you use pics by location. And then in terms of the web, you know, our only option really is to just upload files using the upload process. We have a separate video for that one. Um, but for now, we're just going to look at the options on the phone itself. So if you click plus photo, it's going to give you a list of options for how you can take photos for the phone. And so you've got your camera, which is kind of your traditional point, click, comment uh, in the system that allows you to give context to every picture you're taking. Rapid cam skips the comments, doesn't even give you a preview, just saves the image directly. So if you need to take a bunch of pictures really quickly, uh, that's the best choice. Select an image allows you to look at images in your phone, select one specific image, and then upload that. Uh, but if you're doing more of a bulk upload, find by location is the best approach. And if I were to click find by location here, it's going to search all my pictures to see if there's any pictures at this location. And there aren't any at the moment. But what it'll do is just list all the pictures that are available and allow you to either comment on each one individually or upload them all in one go. So for your other options, we've got our camera. And so we'll just do a quick picture here to show you how that works. If you click camera or there's actually a big yellow camera button at the center bottom, if you click on those, then you can actually see here, I'm looking at the screen, I can press the photo button that allows me to then take a quick picture and then write a comment. So in this case, it'll be first photo for video. I'm just going to press send. And then that's going to actually upload in the background. So if I now close this, I can go into the system. It'll show me on the bottom left there that something is available to upload. If I click on that, it's actually completed the upload process. So now if we go back to our timeline, uh, you can see it's in processing and should be available shortly. And boom, there's the photo we just took. We have text associated with it, the person, the time, and a quick comment from them about what it is they're taking a picture of. So you get context and everything else.